hello friends assalamu alaikum in this video i am going to tell you about the 8051 microcontroller in my previous video i have tell you about the microchip pick microcontroller but uh, in this video i am going to introduce you with 8051 controller which is very basic microcontroller family and it come from the intel uh, microprocessor manufacturing company and after the intel uh, the initial derivative of this controller uh, came from the intel uh, but finally uh, now atmel uh, took the production of this microcontroller uh, and uh, now this controller is known as AT89C51 microcontroller so uh, uh, in this video uh, we are going to learn how to program for the hello world 8051 microcontroller with keel tool so keel is a very handy and very good tool uh, for the 8051 and many other arm based microcontroller uh, so it have uh, many options and also libraries so we are going to start the keel and uh, going to show you how to program the keel 8051 so friends i have started the keel microvision 3 so i am now going to start the new project in keel microvision so first i go to project and new project and specify the location for the new project such as the desktop you can specify the new folder 8051 hello world say select the folder so name the file as uh, 8051 hw hello world And now going to save uh, select the microcontroller from this menu atmel 8089c uh 51 let i show you 889C51. So this is a microcontroller. Uh, this microcontroller can use the clock up to 24 megahertz, and it has 4 kilobyte of uh, program memory, 128 bytes on chip RAM, which is used as scratch pad, uh, two timers, and six interrupt. Uh, so click the OK. so this is a startup port for the 8051 uh, which is uh, which came with the keel so we are including this code so i click yes so after this uh, the new project is created now we are going to create the new file of our new project so click create new file so this is new file then save the new file click save as name the file as 8051 hw dot c so save this file as so our new file has been created here which is named as 8051 hello world c now it's time to include this file in the source group so right click the source group add files to source group select the file add close So you have seen that uh, the file is added in the source group. So here I have added the code. The first line of code uh, you are weighing is the rich 51 include header, which is the very basic header and it is necessary for all the below coding identification. So please don't forget to include this line if you are going to program C language 8051. So next line is uh, our LED bit. Our LED bit is connect to port 1 of 8051 bit number 0 so i have declared the s bit led bit at port 1 bit number 0 bit so after this uh, i have uh, defined the delay millisecond function so this is a prototype function definition here which is necessary for the keel environment uh, so this is the delay millisecond for the delay in uh, led sequence Uh, so after this uh, we have come to the main loop uh, so in main loop uh, the main program uh, is running in the main loop 
so first in uh, main loop i have uh, declared the port 1 as output port so you have seen that t1 is 0 0 which mean that all the 8 bits of the port 1 is output uh, so after this declaration of the port 1 uh, there is a forever while loop in the forever while loop uh, the led uh, will be flash uh, with the delay of 1 second 1 second on and 1 second off so you have seen that in the while loop the LED first will be on and uh, there will be delay of uh, 1000 millisecond will be executed which is equal to 1 second and after this the LED will be off and again the delay of 1 second will be executed and forever it will continue so this is our main program for flashing the LED in 8051 below is our delay uh, the delay is designed using the for loops so the delay is designed such that uh, when using the 12 megahertz clock it will give the delay of uh, 1 millisecond if I pass 1 here. So please uh, check that if we pass uh, 1 here then the delay will uh, execute in 1 millisecond and uh, in above you have seen that I have passed 1000 here which mean that 1000 millisecond will be executed here which is equivalent to 1 second. Uh, so it's time to program uh, sorry not program it's time to compile our code so this is the compile option so uh, rebuild all target files click here you have seen that the code is uh, compiled and there is no error uh, so I am uh, uh, wish to tell you one option uh, when using the keel that uh, when you program uh, uh, compile uh, your code please don't forget to uh, check for the create hex file uh, which uh, can be found at uh, flash configure flash tools uh, on the output so this check should be checked uh, for the creating the hex file if it is unchecked the hex file will not be created and uh, you cannot program your controller for the code so please make sure that this is checked so click ok again compile the program the program is compiled now it is time to check the simulation in the proteus so in proteus uh, now first we take the 8051 microcontroller which is already selected here uh, so pick the microcontroller here and after this place the led at the position of port 1 bit 0 and then connect the ground with the reset please don't forget to connect the ground with the reset otherwise the controller will not work connect your port 1 bit 0 with your LED and the other part of the LED will be ground uh, the simple circuit is now uh, complete it's time to give the hex file to microcontroller so right click the microcontroller uh, leave the 12 megahertz as it is uh, browse the file in my case it is in the desktop so in desktop 8051 hello world file ok so it's time to simulate the circuit now play you have seen that uh, the LED is now flashing with the interval close to the one second uh, so port one bit zero you have seen that flashing with the delay of one second so this is the 8051 hello world in uh, my next upcoming video inshallah i am going to tell you how to use the timer in 8051 microcontroller and yet many others to come inshallah so please stay tuned like and subscribe the channel assalamu alaikum